Greetings everyone, it's Lodric and this is a game uh, One the Pacific Admiral's Edition This is my play by email match against Sagun He chooses allies and for me it's Japan This is scenario 1 on game version 26B And this is the 3rd of May 42 yeah. I'm cleaning again, still is our mines uh, At my oil base and here's a lonely cargo ship, source of Tahiti, okay. One torpedo hit, but no heavy damage. Oh, yeah. Okay, there's a follow-up attack and now it's heavy damage on fire. But no troops on board, maybe only supplies or something like this. If it's the last base in Northwest Australia, oof, a lot of more of the unit. No, sixty percent of the unit is now disabled. That is uh, terrible. So I don't know. This was a very bad dice roll, or hmm. no enemy there. Someone scouted my heavy cruisers. Good. Hit again. Mountain. Not really possible to create damage. Here much easier. Been doing. Australia. Oof. No hit at all. Standard. Oh, the last attack is able to hit some tanks. Okay, or vehicles. Whatever they are. Been doing. Still heavy flick, so still too many supplies even after my last attack. The Hudson's, Ooh. but it's long range. Or I don't really think it's long range. That's maybe simply that the airbase is not big enough. And Vincent's, ah, uh, yeah, I want to maybe check what they are. I think they're still Vindicators. Oh, Wildebeest, not Vindicators. Vindicators are the Americans. Wildebeest are the British. Good, so there are some Hudson's attacking me here. I don't know exactly why. Because there was some sweeps and the sweeps was all defeated. No, Hudson's. So maybe there's a sweep coming when they can This Hudson's are too early. Uh, I don't know. But this was an easy kill. And Wellingtons. Oh, that is the first time that the British be heavy bombers. A Wellington, I would say, is still a heavy bomber. Even if it's only a twin engine, you can see the bomb load is uh, like a. B-17. They only lack, I think, the range and the defense abilities, so... But the payload is the same like a B-17. Good. Hurting my troops, and I want to attack Colombo Here are the B-17s, they have the same bomb load. These are my cruisers trying to approach uh, Tahiti again. The second, I think the second or third bombardment. That's uh, the base force, okay. So where's the Scottish guys?
Good. See, I think this is the third battle of Colombo. Well, maybe fourth. And I have a little more power, so let's hope. This is working. Port is down. And yeah. Greetings, everybody. House tricks. This is Orphan Anne from Radio Tokyo saying hello to all of her dog faces and boneheads wandering the Pacific Islands. Before we start the music, the Japanese High Command announced today that the ever victorious forces of the Japanese Empire have captured Colombo. So you can see that uh, my attack power was increasing, but this is clear terrain, so there's really nothing to behind behind. So no mountains or something like this. I also destroy the fort level 2 down to level 1 and level 1 is nearly nothing. And the British have a problem with their own defense, they not even get their standard attack value, so... Uh, still I have a, a regiment disabled. The allies losing some stuff, but uh, yeah, they are retreating, so... So not more much attack power left because 150 is destroyed, so uh, maybe half still. Was a victory. Most important is only how the... I mean, not the most important, but... Uh, after this kind of battles, there's always uh, there's a second check to do. How is the base? How much is destroyed? Good. Striking here. Two regiments are too much for the Chinese now, but they are all out of supplies. That's fine. This guy was bombarded the whole day, so they are super disrupted, I think. But they still not out of supplies. Still, they both are trying to hide in the mountains. And Grey Mouse is still holding but I think there's really not more much left these guys are dying there's no attack value so this is only the support units are still fighting the combat units are already destroyed now and this is a Chinese attack so maybe this guy is with 25 attacking me I'm not sure or maybe the broken pieces no it's only the 20 guy so the 20 guy is attacking me and gets destroyed So I think Sagun only gets rid of his units. This is my attempt to regiments taking on the rest of the Venture army and I have a little no, normally 15 to 1. Problem is that this Chinese units uh, must surrender. So they have I think an additional morale check. And so far the morale is good enough to not surrender, to surrender. So overall, of course, a good day for me. Killing some uh, British bombers is always nice. And uh, taking Colombo is, of course, a key element. Let's see. First, there's uh, air losses are still one to one. So it's not really a great day in the air. I kill all these Hudsons. Seven. Two. No. Nothing. Ah, yeah, and okay, so six Herzens and one Sky Train go down. And for me, it's all Ops losses. So I lost no pilot, only airframes. I was also able to sink one lonely cargo ship, a standard cargo ship, nothing special here. Very standard. Good. Uh, in China, there was. One victory here and one victory here, so I forced the Chinese together, so I think maybe they link up and yeah, then we are still in very rough town. Uh, and the Chinese are also blocking my road here, so uh, I have to go down and open this road again. I kick them out here, they forcing, they, we, they cannot retreat to this hex because my unit is here, so they're retreating here, okay. He was a suicide attack from the Chinese. No. Most important, number one activity today was Colombo. So the British are here and this was the reason why I don't walk in. 
If I walk here in, they could not retreat to this base. And if they don't retreat to this base, they have no other base to retreat and then they must surrender. This means they have this is less likely that they surrender. And if they surrender, there's this code written event that uh, you can destroy your base completely or higher chance to destroy the base you lose the battle. So Colombo itself looks like not so damaged. Uh, six, so 15% damage, something like this. No, roughly 15% damage. That is, I think, standard. Not good. Sometimes you get the 100% fine or 99% fine. 15%, 15 to 20% is standard. 30% is also still acceptable. Up to 30% I would say is okay. 40, 50% is getting painful. But this means I have now a shipyard here and I can fix it or come. I mean, Japan can always increase, the allies cannot increase the number, so now I have to clean my mines. And because I was hoping I can catch here the victory, I already sent my local minesweepers to this base, I mean, this location, then I hope I can reach here tomorrow. It's still too late for my damage destroyer. I think I cannot wait here too long, so I will maybe go back and. Uh, Fix here the system damage first and then the major damage I can do in Colombo. Uh, nothing else happened. This is all fine. Shipping, shipping, shipping. A lot of tons of uh, supply uh, resources are here. You can see 100,000 because I produced here 1,000, 2,000, 2,000 per day. Yeah. 2,000 per day. Shipping, shipping. Uh, one side note is, I already launched my next uh, carrier raid, and this time it was a carrier raid, so I have here still my cruiser formation, like last time. But this time, they uh, have support by two fleet carriers. So Unio and Hiyo is are here, with each uh, 58 airframes, plus the escort carrier. And uh, my setup is more like this, the escort carrier give uh, uh, escort duty for the torpedo bombers and the zeros on the two main carriers will making cap. Simply because I can rebuild every airframe but I cannot rebuild the carrier. So the protection for my own carriers is always higher priority, highest priority. And because I don't know where is the British or American carriers, I must play it a little safe and say okay. But one escort zero fighter wing would still help. And if I run an enemy main heavy fleet carriers, then I have anyway not really a chance. Uh, so this is more a battle group to hunt cargo ships. Because my submarines cannot uh, really blockade the west coast. Yeah, west coast? Western part of Melbourne, let's say this. So there's two ports, one port here, one port in Melbourne. So maybe I can think something. And because I can uh, now use this base for Navy search, uh, more or less I can really nearly search everything up to here, so I can more or less put my ships in, maybe in this position. Because Sagun must come somewhere here. He cannot go this way, so he must come with source, but somewhere he have to go here up or to Melbourne. So, and here's the edge of the coast. So if I stay here, then it's nearly not more possible to avoid me. And I also want to stay 15 hexes at least away from Melbourne, so that his Navy search not detect me, so that I can surprise him. Because carrier fights, I always surprise attacks without surprise in the element of yeah yeah without the element of surprise the carrier is always a little uh, weak because you can simply stand down everything or hide in your port and then it's hard to hit something New Zealand no will change nothing really happens here the last action was here Tahiti my battle group is on the way to Tahiti. I have here the minimum amount of air cover, so here's an escort carrier with giving. No. So only for a fight against enemy fighter bombers and Catalinas, this is fine. 
and maybe also some carrier strikes, but not too much. But this is a bombardment task force, so I have nothing better to do with them, so I bombard once more Tahiti, and I think this is an after this is enough. Uh, I will maybe call back my battleships and cruisers and stay near to Numaya, so I have... This is a more fleet in being, because I don't know where's the allies. I must first really see where's the American battleships, where is all the cruisers and all the carriers. I don't know. They normally must show up. If I remember right, they have an upgrade in April, so this is done. So the carriers are now ready to, for operations. I must locate them and then I can rearrange my ships. Good. Well, that was all. Then see you next time. Take care. Bye bye.